Uh. Hey internet, welcome to Worldview Everlasting, your favorite YouTube addiction, and this is your daily fix. All right, so we got a question this week asking us to take a look and respond to this. A snippet news article from some Yahoo had the bright idea to fix the whole culture war problem by turning everything on its head and proving how Christians are just a bunch of morons and Islam is really a happy religion that no one should ever worry about as a worldview by doing a computer-based concordance word search for the number of times certain words show up in both the Old and New Testament and the Quran. Of course, the headline and the thrust of the article did its best to admit, while also emotionally dismissing the self-admitted limitations of the study, which is that it did nothing at all to take into account the context or meaning of any of the texts that it looked at, and focused instead on what it wanted to find and see. Which again, turns out to be, lo and behold, Christianity is mean and awful, but Islam is very nice. Now as to why Western, decivilized yahoos want so badly to submit to a religion that very vocally stands against all their cherished liberal values, I can't possibly fathom. But what I can say is just how much this kind of study demonstrates the near idiotic fervor with which the majority of brainwashed Americans approach knowledge in general, which is as if knowledge is just a bag of Skittles that I can spread out on the table and pick apart the colors of. The problem is that you have this one bag of Skittles that has a lot of red Skittles in it, but also has one green Skittle at the very bottom of the bag that says, throw out all the red Skittles and do not eat them whenever they get in the way of the green Skittles. And then you also have a yellow Skittle that says, you can use the red Skittles to lie to people to promote the agenda of yellow Skittles. And so with this bag of Skittles, pointing out how many red Skittles there are only proves how entirely incompetent and unqualified you are to speak to the matter. Now, I am no professional at Islam, but I know enough to know that a study which clocks the New Testament as more violent than the Quran can only do so by entirely divorcing the ideas of knowledge and sentence structure from each other. Does Jesus getting crucified and pierced on the cross count as an act of violence? What about when he says to turn the other cheek to those who strike you? It really should go without saying to anyone who is bothering to think that you simply cannot think the way the study is trying to. But it also should not surprise us that this is precisely how satiated, socially brainwashed Americans are thinking. That is, twisting the evidence in any contorted form that they need to in order to support their point and then relying on the power of media and the replacement of reading books with scrolling and flipping to do the majority of the work in convincing people for you. Check out the links below to listen to a host of episodes of Issues Etc. with Dr. Adam Francisco, one of the foremost specialists on Islam in America. Unlike your average Yahoo with a computer, he reads Arabic, dialogues with Muslims regularly, and has an actual idea about what the religion is about, from its most liberal lens to its most conservative ones. And then compare it with this meme showing how mean Christians are. Except for the fact that this is a picture of Saint Hippolytus, an early church Christian being murdered by Roman pagans for his belief in Christianity. But, oh yeah, I forgot. Facts. They really don't matter. Down with Christianity, no matter what their texts or history say. The antidote to all of this for you, Christian? Know what you believe and why you believe it. You might not be able to change the willpower of mindless yahoos, but you will at least not be readily deceived by the blustering of the dragon, who, in the end, can't do much more than kill you. Which, I get it, I understand it's not a lovely picture, but it has no power whatsoever to overturn Jesus' resurrection from the dead and his promise that he is going to raise you up on the last day in himself. Lord have mercy. See you next week. Rock on. Worldview Everlasting is solid, Christian, and free because it is viewer supported. Your monthly gift of five, 10, or $25 is the reason that we can continue to improve and expand these tools for online Christian outreach and discipleship. To make a one-time donation, sign up for the Lutheran Ninja Clan regular giving, or to find information about how to put Worldview Everlasting in your congregation's budget, click donate now. Yeah.